Whether it's the gentle gurgle of a trickling stream or the steady murmur of a river flowing to the sea, the magic of water never ceases to intrigue. Yet how often do we stop to consider the life-giving power of water? The fact that without it, we would cease to exist. The city of Cape Town covers an area of 2,450 square kilometers and has a population of approximately 3.5 million people requiring basic services such as water and sanitation. For this purpose, the city has a dedicated water and sanitation department responsible for the entire water cycle, serving industry, agriculture, and households, both formal and informal. The vision of the department is to be leaders in the provision of equitable, sustainable, people-centered, affordable, and credible water services to all. To realize its vision, it has formulated a strategy of proactive planning, sound management, state-of-the-art technology, and skills development. Demonstrating the department's commitment as both water services authority and water services provider is an impressive value chain comprising eight specialist branches. Water demand management and strategy, bulk water, waste water, reticulation, scientific services, engineering and asset management, finance and commercial and support services. Each of these vital links contributes to the final objective, providing service excellence to the community. At the source of the department's water supply are six major catchment dams, which form part of the Western Cape water supply system, and seven smaller dams. Three of the major dams are owned and managed by the Department of Water and Environmental Affairs, and the rest are owned and managed by the city. Apart from the dams, the bulk water branch also operates 11 conventional water treatment plants. These facilities have a total treatment capacity of 1,655 megaliters of water a day. The Fora Water Treatment Works is the largest and most modern. Also part of the treatment network is the Atlantis Iron Exchange Plant, which treats water abstracted from an underground aquifer. The treated water is safely supplied to the end users in the city of Cape Town and neighboring municipalities via a series of bulk and service reservoirs connected to pump stations and an integrated network of pipelines. The wastewater branch plans and manages the operations of 20 wastewater treatment plants with a total treatment capacity of over 700 megaliters a day. Plus, three sea outfalls. The treatment processes are by and large biological, with modern mechanical means employed for liquid transfer and sludge dewatering. The final effluent is rendered safe for discharge to the environment. This final effluent is suitable for use in commercial applications such as agriculture, industry, and on sport fields. Maintaining the pipelines conveying the potable water from the service reservoirs and conveying wastewater from industry and households to the wastewater treatment plants is the responsibility of the reticulation branch. Stringent quality monitoring and control is of the essence. And the scientific services branch 
provides this service throughout the water and wastewater cycles by employing state-of-the-art technology in their laboratories to analyze samples and advise operations and clients. The important functions of electrical engineering maintenance, mechanical engineering maintenance, engineering design of infrastructure across the value chain, as well as the management of the extensive fleet of vehicles in an integrated manner reside with the engineering and asset management branch. Acutely aware of the need for water conservation, the Water Demand Management and Strategy branch has responded with a comprehensive, proactive strategy. This strategy covers its vast infrastructure where ensuring the integrity of the underground reticulation network is a key function. A range of pressure management systems further boost conservation efforts by reducing breakage caused by internal pressure on underground pipes. Also, high on the agenda are dynamic Save Water campaigns aimed at industry, schools and the domestic market. Throughout the entire value chain runs the golden thread of the department's dedicated staff complement. Some 3,300 people are presently employed. Among them, the technical crews, available 24-7. The meter readers, who brave wind and weather to perform their essential task. The technical operations center staff, who field customer calls. And operate a sophisticated electronic dispatch system finance and administrative personnel responsible for the coordination and supervision of the department's day-to-day -day support activities and staff development. All work together to ensure the high standards of service delivery the department strives for. Clouds form. Rain falls. Rivers flow, dams fail. Without this wondrous construct, we cannot survive. Water, the essence of life.